Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week we're going to do a quick little scrap wood project, something that I've always wanted to try to make and never ever got to it. And a little cramp for time this week and I thought what can I do that's a nice, simple, fast little project, but something that's still that's interesting that I actually want to do. So we're going to make a wooden whistle. What I've got here is a piece of lace wood. It's 7 eighths of an inch square and um, I've drilled a hole which is just under a quarter inch through here for a lanyard to tie it up to hang off your, to hang it around your neck or on your wrist, whichever. There's a little pitch change hole that's just under one eighth and that just goes down halfway through. I've cut a notch on a 45 degree just past, just barely past halfway. So I'm not sure what this is gonna sound like, um, but we're gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna hold this in the lathe by using the four jaw chuck. You can do it between centers uh, if you like, uh, but if you wanna do it between centers, you're gonna to have to drill this center hole out on a drill press. Now I'm going to do mine on the tailstock uh, just for time's sake. I've got center marked on this end so I'm going to put that in my tailstock, the brad point in my tailstock. So I'm just going to leave this loose for right now. I'm just going to slide this up to we're on center right here. Alright so now I know that I'm on center and I can tighten this up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a 3 8 inch hole in here, 2 and 7 8 inches long. I've got a mark on the back of my, um, on the back of my drill bit where I need to stop. I want to give the design credit of this particular whistle to uh, Ernie Conover, who did a video on YouTube about six years ago under the Woodworkers Journal channel. This is a really hard, brittle wood, so I took my time uh, turning this. I didn't take deep cuts at all. Uh, my tools were really sharp. I didn't want to spend a lot of time sanding it because I knew it would sand very hard if I didn't get clean cuts. So uh, I did all the turning in this video in real time, but it is, uh, it isn't, I'm not taking very deep cuts as you can see. So if you were doing this in maple or birch or something a little softer than this with a little bit different grain, uh, this would be like a three minute turn. bit more.
And it's going to turn a bead on the end for the lanyard to go through, and it doesn't actually need to be a bead, just a little more decorative. So while the finish is going on here, I just want to say thanks again to everyone who subscribes to the channel and thank you to everybody who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. Uh, and leave a thumbs up or thumbs down whether you like the video or not. And, uh, and do leave a comment. I'm going to put some pictures up at the end. They're not very spectacular, obviously, because it's just a little wooden whistle. Uh, but there is a video clip right before the pictures of uh, a practical use for this thing which i did not imagine in my wildest dreams would work um, so stick around and check that out So I put a piece of half inch uh, square walnut in the four jaw chuck here and I'm going to turn it to three eighths of an inch round so that it'll fit inside of the hole that we drilled in the end of the whistle. Now I'm just going to test this to make sure we get a good fit and it fits in there just right. So I took this over to my belt sander and I sanded a flat the full length of the dowel um, and now I've got it fitted so that the end of the dowel is flush with that perpendicular cut that I made in the in the square blank and also flush with the end of the whistle. All right as you can see it's a lovely spring day in New Brunswick snow so I'm going to show you why this may be the best thing that I've ever made in my shop I've got a two and a half year old all black purebred German short haired pointer pup and she only comes when I call her about a third of the time but with this <laughs> she comes every time with this